Hi there, and welcome aboard Wild Goose Adventures. I've got the rooftop tent set up because I've just been preparing it because we're going to go on a little adventure. Where we're heading is on the Tropic of Capricorn, just off Rockhampton, but 170 kilometres west. But we're not going to follow the coast road that's busy. We're going to head out and we're going to follow the great country road north. So we're going via Gainda and going into citrus country. We're going to have a look at Mount Perry and the Boonboola Tunnel, and perhaps one of my favourite ever stories. Then we're going to pay homage to the Big Bunyip before getting through Monto and the art trail there, which is of course just off Cania Gorge, and that is beautiful in itself. But we're heading off to Deepwater National Park. It is it is supposed to be beautiful and I can't wait. So let's cheat on and see what we can find. Having cleared all of those beautiful places, we made our way through Biloela and then we were off to Blackdown Tableland National Park. As we made our way into the National Park, the roads thinned out and left us with some beautiful scenic drives to admire. As we climbed the 900 metres up to the tablelands, we started to see the sandstone that is so predominant here and notice the vegetation and all its changes. It truly was beautiful. start horseshoe lookout look at those cliffs they're the ones we're looking at on the way up here magnificent so as you can see the setup here is pretty handy they provide a fireplace you have to bring your own wood and you're not allowed to chop any down here. The bird life here is amazing. They talk about lace monitors as being the predominant species here, but I haven't seen one yet. But the birds, they've been phenomenal. We're off now to go and see probably the piste resistance of this area. Let's go and check it out. So from the campground, it's 8.1 kilometers and it's pretty rough. I know people do it in two-wheel drives and in vans, but I wouldn't like to be doing it. It's so much easier on a four-wheel drive, something that's a bit of higher clearance and just handles the bumps a bit better. It wasn't fast. I was probably doing 20 kilometers an hour most of the way, but again, we're here, we're safe, and now it's time to tackle 240 stairs and all the good things that are just over there. The walk out to the 240 steps is about 45 minutes. So armed with cameras and an eager attitude, I headed off. Walk isn't difficult, but certainly there are steps to negotiate and potential hazards on the way.
but we're here for the first part of this adventure to get down to the waterfalls and see looking up we're going to negotiate 240 steps so let's go and check them out we're about 50 steps in and you can see why this is so special the sandstone is all exposed and we've got a steep cliff running down that's having all the water running down them. It's going to be keen to see what's at the bottom. Well, the Rainbow Falls were certainly beautiful. 240 steps. In this day and age, if you're in Coolum, there's people jogging up those steps multiple times. But this is a long way from the Sunshine Coast, and so we have it all to ourselves, pristine and beautiful. Now we're gonna go and look at another little gem. Just, we're gonna go the other side of the 240 step sign. We're going to see what happens. So sheet on, let's go and have a look. And here you can see the trickle of water is running down. Perfectly clear water and look what it opens up to. Swimming hole after swimming hole after swimming hole. These are renowned and people come and swim here all the time. I'm not allowed to go for a swim. I can come and enjoy the ambience. Well, Blacktown National Park, what a beautiful, beautiful spot. You're out in the middle of the wilderness. There's not much here, but that's kind of what makes it so important and so lovely. The sandstone is sensational and the cliffs and all of the outlying area is so lovely. That was a beautiful walk yesterday. Those pools, they're sensational. They're clean. If they're not the cleanest pools you've ever seen, please tell me where I can find some others that are better because they were pretty special. If you come here, please remember, bring lots of water because there's nothing here and there's no water. I bought some water, but I could have used some more. Bring firewood because the fire pits are here and available to use and this was mine it was just here but never saw a fire you just need to bring your own firewood and i'm sure my time here would have been just that little much better if i'd bought firewood that's it for this episode of wild goose adventures i hope you enjoyed the story please like and subscribe that'll be totally awesome and until next time smooth sailing